Okay, so this is a 54 Rosa. Has the two-car garage. Um, it's a pretty quiet street. It's pretty much all condos, even though they look like townhouses. It's just all two units that are together that share walls. Um, there is a park space at the end of the street there, and then obviously the park that's in the back of the house. Um, some rustic wood siding on the front. Entryway. This is all laminate flooring. Um, throughout the main level. There is a little bit of a bump right there. I'm not sure what, I think it's just that the floor, the subfloor is a little bit higher right there. It has a little bit of a creak to it. But anyway, um, half bathroom is right here in the hallway. Some nice built-in shelving in the living room. Some beautiful big windows. Um, Nice big kitchen island. I love that the island doesn't have anything in it. So you have all this huge amount of workspace. Some really cool tile backsplash. It's metal, metallic tile, which is cool. Um, quartz countertops. And I'm sure, yep, all soft clothes drawers. Cabinets are not though. Sink is a single sink. Um, I'm actually loving that on mine. It's a glass surface stove. Microwave, refrigerator has the water and ice in the door. We've got another little pantry cabinet there. But this is the killer part. So the windows open on the bottom and then you just have these amazing views in the backyard. And these views won't ever change because that is all park space behind the fence there. So this is forever the view from here. Um, and it's nice that it's already fenced in the backyard. So not a huge backyard, but it's not a bad size either. And then you've got this little patio section. So the sliding door over here. I have some wood bundled up there for the little fire pit. So yeah, good size yard. I would say it's probably 30 or 40 feet wide by maybe 25 feet deep. So it's not bad at all. Um, it does have underground sprinklers to the whole yard. I do love these built-in shelving too. Okay, this is like the mud room, landing area, big closet. This is also the crawl space access is right here on the floor. Up to the garage. So it's an okay two car garage. This is about a foot and a half maybe on either side of the door. So you could legitimately park two cars in the garage. So that is always, it's good to just kind of have a visual of how big the garage is. And then there's your water heater. Okay, in the half bath. Okay, up the stairs. There's some um, wrinkles in the carpet, so it just needs to get stretched on the stairs. Um, it's a nice low profile commercial grade carpet, so it is um, not one that gets like all matted down. And it has this cool feature of these bars. The top of the stairs, there's that window way up high. Here's the laundry, lots of cabinets across the top, so good for storage. And then right here we've got the master bedroom. Pretty good sized room. This is where the bed would go here, so definitely room for a king size bed. Walk-in closet. Some good shelving, hanging spots. The master bedroom is at the front of the house, so it does face the street instead of um, instead of to the back. It would be really awesome if it faced the back. This is the taller countertop height, which is great. So it's like the same height as your countertops in the kitchen. And then I love that it has the undermount sinks. 
walk-in shower. It's just a fiberglass surround, but it does have that little bench in it. And then a separate toilet room. <laughs> Abe's taking a video right now too. Um, so the carpet does have some some wrinkles. It needs to get stretched out. A big wrinkle right there in front of the door. Um, bedroom is a good size. This is a queen size bed. It's pushed over into the corner, but it would definitely fit just fine if it was centered in the middle. Some killer views again. And I don't think a whole lot of people use this park, so it's not like you're going to have people in your backyard all the time. Nice closet. Guest bathroom. Again, it's double sinks and it's the taller height. And then you have, well, that is kind of funny. It's like there was supposed to be a door here, but there isn't a door. Um, so maybe that's something that could be changed out because it would be nice if it had a door to separate the toilet and shower room from the sink area so that two people could be getting ready at the same time. But it is a nice layout. And then this is the last bedroom. Again, we have these carpet wrinkles that just need to get stretched. I have a good friend that does carpet stretching and he would charge like, I don't know, probably three or $400 to stretch the carpet. So, and then a good size closet. All three of the rooms have decent closets. All right, let me know if you have any questions.